All right, Shalom. Shalom. Of course, before we begin, we want to give all the praises, all the glory, and all the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors unto our elders and apostles, a great most on the men who rule well, men who taught us the truth of the Holy Scriptures, through Spirit and Power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. All right, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem means in the name, Rakakodash. Uh, the Holy Spirit, all right, which is the volume of the book, the Spirit of Truth, all right. So, basically, we're gonna go into some, uh, you know, some basic scriptures, all right. Speaking about, you know, basically speaking about uh, righteousness right now, all right, because right now righteousness is um, faith. Uh, all right, now righteousness <clears throat> for the elect is faith in Yahweh Shai, all right. That's the righteousness that the Most High is accepting from us, all right. Our faith in Yahweh Shai. And we're going to prove that through the scriptures. All right, so let's get the first one. Yeah, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Yeah, right. Because, you know, like it says, uh, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So, like, this is the whole the whole point uh, of your existence, you Israelites, is this. All right? Uh, fearing the Most High and keeping His commandments. All right? That's your whole purpose. All right? Because a lot of people might... Might say or might think like you know just being a good person is enough you know and by them by them saying good person someone who doesn't do this you know someone who doesn't say curse words or you know it's ambiguous or who yeah who, or who's someone who's polite you know and it's like or someone who's a nice person a good person quote unquote and it's like well truthfully speaking man you know the truth is that the whole duty of the Israelite is just to do what the Most I told you to do all right and right now. All right, our justification in the sight of the Heavenly Father is faith in Yahweh Shai. All right, did you have something? No. Nah. All right, go ahead. Get the next one. Okay, this is uh, Romans chapter 3. Let's we'll start at verse 21. Yeah, and we're going to prove to you right now real quick, um, you know, that the right, right now, righteousness is faith in Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. All right, go ahead. Yeah, this is uh, Romans 3 and 21. Mm -hmm. But now the righteousness of the Most High Without the law is manifested. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, like we read earlier, we have to keep the commandments. But we all know that we can't uh, get the scripture, that one in uh, Ecclesiastes 7.20. Because mm -hmm. we can't keep the law 100%, especially not in these times being in our bondage and captivity. That's why in Judges 5 and 11, it says in uh, the places of drawing water, well, we will rehearse the righteous acts. All right. So because we're and we're rehearsing right now because we can't keep the law 100%. Okay, so go ahead and grab that. Yeah, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 20. Uh-huh. For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Yep, that's right. So, <clears throat> you know, basically, all of us fall short, all right? Okay, so all of us fall short. We can't keep the law 100%. That's why we have Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. That's why uh, Romans 8 and 1 real quick. Mm -hmm. Just real quick. Just yeah. the first chapter. This is Romans 8. Is it in 1? Yeah, first one. That's says suck. Yeah, that's chapter one. Yeah, uh, Romans eight, starting at verse one. Uh huh. There, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahweh Yeah, you're not condemned <clears throat> when, when you have faith in Yahweh Ultimately, if you're of the elect, you're not condemned. You're not going to be judged according to the law. All right, go ahead. It says, "Who who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit." Mm hmm. Yeah, that's and that's it right there. All right, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We do the uh, we do what we're supposed to do. All right, let's um. So like, yeah. mm -hmm. Because it said, there's therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Yahweh Shai. Yeah, because those that have faith in Yahweh Shai aren't going to be judged according to the law. Okay, so let's get Romans 3. Wait get that on righteousness. The righteousness. Manif yeah, this is uh, back in Romans chapter 3, mm -hmm. verse 21. Yep. But now the righteousness of the Most High without the law is manifest. Yeah, be because, so like, yeah, real quick, <clears throat> because... Now we can be considered righteous without keeping the law 100% because we're not going to be able to keep it 100%. Okay? We we would always go off. Okay? Go ahead. That's why we would always end up in captivity because we would go off. Go ahead. It says, but now the righteousness of the Most High without the law is manifested. Mm -hmm. Righteousness without the law. Go ahead. Being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being witnessed by the <coughs> law and the prophets. Okay? The law and the prophets, that's what you can you know read in the Old Testament. Okay, so go ahead. It says, um, uh -huh. verse 22, Even the righteousness of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Boom, there it is. All right, even, you know, the righteousness of the Most High. So now there's a righteousness, right? What What is that righteousness now? It says, by faith of, go ahead, Yahweh Shai. Yep, 
It says, which is by faith of mm-hmm. Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yep. Keep going. Yeah, it says, unto, unto, unto all and upon all them that believe. Yep, of course, th- and that's within Israel. Go ahead. For there is no difference. Exactly. So basically, what's what's being said here is, you know, you, you having faith in Yahweh Shai, that's now righteousness unto you. Okay. It says, uh, it says, unto all and upon all them that believe, obviously within Israel, because only an Israelite. First off, because faith is a gift, and only Israelites going to be given a gift like that, because the Lord only deals with His people. Okay, so keep reading. Yep, it says, um, verse twenty-three. Come, verse, verse twenty-three. Mm-hmm. For all have sinned and come short of the glory. Yeah, of the it Lord. says, for all have sinned. What did it say in Ecclesiastes? All right, there is not a just man that doeth good and sinneth not. Roughly paraphrasing to it, you know, because we all sin, we all go off. Okay, yep. so it says, for all have sinned. Keep going. Yeah, verse 24, being justified freely. No, hold up. Read verse 23 again. Oh, come. Verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all have sinned and come short of the glory because we, you know, even though you did a bunch of of righteousness, even though, even if you offended in the most minorest thing, you still offended. You still broke the law. All right? That's coming short. Okay? Yeah, you break one, break all. Yeah, exactly. You know? So... What it says, but but now that's a that's a beautiful thing because you can do all that righteousness come short, but you can still have the opportunity to be justified in the eyes of Yahweh, man. Okay, so um, we're you gonna grab something. Mm, no, no. All right, go ahead. Uh, you still want that in Romans? Yeah, keep reading. Uh, yeah, come. On. Uh, verse twenty three. Twenty four. Oh, like verse twenty four. Being justified freely by His grace mm-hmm. through the redemption that is in Hamashiach Yahushai. Yep, because we're justified now and. Uh, we we have received we're receiving uh favor, okay. Verse twenty five, be uh so lucky whom the Most High hath hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in His blood to mm-hmm. declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of the Most High. Mm-hmm. One second, let me look into a word real quick, mm-hmm. because it says in verse twenty five. Hold on, I'm going to need you to reread 24 and 25 real quick. Mm-hmm. But one second. Now, when you go into that word, propitiation, it says relating to, the word there is, Hilaster, Hilasterion. I'm going to let <coughs> them say it. 12G, 2435. Hilasterion. Hilasterion. Oh, I was close. Hilasterion, which means relating to and appeasing or expiation, having, placing, or... Expiating force, expiatory, a means of appeasing or expiating a propitiation. Now I'm gonna look up that word propitiation because that's where the point is that I want to get. Okay, because ultimately we're being basically. Okay, uh, go ahead and reread twenty four twenty five, real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, this is Romans three and twenty four. Mm-hmm. Being justified freely by His grace. Yep. Through the redemption that is in Hamas, Yeah, because you, because now what? Uh, Israel has justification in the sight of the heavenly Father. <clears throat> the elect of Israel have justification through faith in Yahweh. Go ahead. Verse twenty, verse twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Whom, whom the Lord hath, so lucky, whom the Lord hath set forth to be a propitiation. Yeah, propitiation. Now, when you look up that word propitiation, it literally says in the Edom Online, it says late fourteenth century uh, atonement. Expiation, so an atonement. So we basically were justified because of the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's basically what it's saying there. All right? Because he's the propitiation. Now it says through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins. Right? Because now we can we can be covered by Yahweh Shai. Okay? We can now declare his righteousness basically to for us to be covered and to be forgiven. Mm-hmm. All right? So jump to verse 31. Now, this doesn't mean that we go out and start sinning, all right? We don't want, you know, we don't want to get, you know, Jake's is simple sometime, man. So read th- verse 31, Romans 3. This is Romans 3 and 31. Now, this doesn't mean that you go out and willfully sin now, all right? La'a, that means no in Hebrew. Go ahead. This is Romans 3 and, tw- like Romans 31. 3 and 31. Mm-hmm. Do we then make void the law through faith? Yeah, do we Do we then not keep the law? Do we then, you know, uh, 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 put, it, put it away? Do we not keep it? Go ahead. Most high forbid. That means no. All right, most high forbid. We 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 keep. Go ahead. <laughs> Lord forbid. Yea, we establish the law. Yeah, we establish that. What we do, we still keep it. All right. Yeah, it's order. Yeah, exactly. So now I'll go to First John two. Book show. Yeah, this is um. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, wait, uh, you want to start at uh, verse 1? 1 John 2, verse 1. This is um, 1 John chapter 2, starting at verse 1. Uh -huh. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. See, there you go, because <clears throat> this is going to link up uh, beautifully with that in Romans, the third chapter. Okay, so it says, my little children, these things write unto you, that ye sin not. Right, go ahead. And if any man sin... Yeah, and if you do happen to go off... Go ahead. We have an advocate with the Father. Yeah, we have an advocate with uh, the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. We ha we have an advocate with the Father, mm -hmm. Yahweh Shahi Mashiach, the righteous. Yeah, exactly, because now what? We have the Heavenly Father, all right, uh, who is Salakia. We have Yahweh Shai, all right, who is our advocate for the Heavenly Father. All right, he, 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 speaks on, he can speak on your behalf. He can justify you, especially Salakia, if you're part of the elect, Lord, will we be at that number? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 mm -hmm. And he is the propitiation for our sins It goes that word propitiation again <coughs> Because Yahweh Shai gave us the ability to now repent Alright, go ahead And not for ours only But mm -hmm. also for the sins of the whole world Right, because at first salvation begins with the elect Of course we know that at the very end of it all When we're all in the kingdom The two the, 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 the two thirds that were put to death The Israelites that didn't make it the first go round They are still going to be able to be the Lord's chosen people because yeah. of the sacrifice that Yahweh Shai made. We are now, we're well, beginning with the elect for the first go around. You know, we're able to come back to the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Uh, you were going to say something? No. Uh, go ahead. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. And hereby we do know that we know Him if we, if we keep His commandments. See, there you go. You still have <clears throat> to try to keep the law to the best of your ability. You don't put the righteous that righteous part away. You still keep that. All right. You, you have faith, but you must also do works. All right. Go ahead. Verse 4, mm -hmm. he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. Yeah, and that's truth. right, because first off, you know, people like to say, oh, you know, uh, uh, so-and-so is a good person. Well, if they're not doing this, then no, they're not. Not really, you know. They need to be obeying Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in every which way. All right, so go ahead. Verse um, 5. Up, let me finish it off. Uh, yeah, 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 verse, verse 4 yeah. says, um, I know him. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and mm -hmm. the truth is not in him. Yep, exactly. Verse, verse 5. If I could say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because basically you're saying that you know Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, but you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. All right? That you're lying, and the truth isn't in you. All right? So go ahead. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of the Lord perfected. Yep, the love of the Most High is perfected. All right? And, lo and the love of the Most High is not you just saying... I love you, God. That's that's not what that is. All right, let's get a biblical definition of what the love of the Most High is. But be real quick, before we get there, go to First John five and three. It says, "But whosoever keepeth in First First John two and five, but whoso whoso <coughs> salakia, but whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the mo is the love of the Most High perfected. Hereby we know that we are in Him." Right. So let's get what the love of the Most High is, and then we're gonna close out. Yep, skip into uh, 1 John 5 and 3. Mm -hmm. For this is the love of the Most High. Yeah, so let's see what the love of the Most High is. Go ahead. That we keep His commandments. Boom. There you go. You see how it links up perfectly? All right, that we keep His commandments. That we do, like the scriptures say, obedience is better than sacrifice. Yep. Okay, so go ahead. Uh, going back to John. We'll finish it off. Finish 5 and 3, that's it. Okay. Uh, this is uh, 1 John 5 and 3 again. Mm -hmm. For this is the love of the Most High, that uh -huh. we keep His commandments, and mm -hmm. His commandments are not grievous. There you go. All right. There you go. That's mm -hmm. the point. All right. The, the love of the Most High is, is what? Is keeping His commandments. All right. Um, our justification, though, is our faith in Yahweh Shai, which we will show our faith in Yahweh Shai by doing what He said. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, with that... Hey, that's it. Any precepts? Oh, yeah, I got one more. One. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. This is Psalms 119 and 9. Mm -hmm. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Yep. By taking heed to according to thy word. There you, you go. Know, and, you know, if I can say, you know, we, and we know that this word is what? It's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. So him that takes heed to him mm -hmm. and do his commandments, what? Well, that's how you're going to be cleansed. Not by the law. That's right. You know, so that's how a man is cleansed thoroughly. Mm -hmm. you know? Yep. Hey, that, that's and that's the it. point. Lord willing, we pray this video is edifying unto you. We want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rachakodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Mosul, the men who were well, and the men who taught us the truth of the Holy Scriptures. And a sincere Shalom, Wabarakim, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.